Okay, now let's see if this works. Uh, so in this programmed instruction, I want to discuss with you the charge of a protein. We know that all proteins are made up of amino acids. How many different amino acids are occurring naturally? Any ideas? We know about 20 amino acids that occur naturally in proteins. However, quite frequently these amino acids are modified. Um, some of them are modified in certain ways. All amino acids have an amino group and a carboxylic acid group. They also have characteristic side chains. So here this is denoted with an R for side chain. The group in the box uh, is a carboxylic acid uh, side chain. Right, the group in the box this time is an amino group. Both the amino acid uh, the amino group and the carboxylic acid group are usually involved in the peptide bond. So this would usually look like CO and HCHRCO H and so on and so forth. It is the side chain that can have different properties. These R groups, these side chains, can be positively charged. So we have three different positively charged amino acids, lysine and arginine, and we have histidine, where it is not immediately obvious where this positive charge in the side chain is located. It can be around this and this here. And you notice that the interesting and important thing is that these positively charges are always located at a nitrogen. And they can be here as well. So this nitrogen in the side chain can make the amino acid positively charged. R groups can also be negatively charged. So here we have aspartate and glutamate. And here again we have a carboxylic acid group. And this carboxylic acid group has a negative charge here. 